Greetings everyone. Grab a chair and a drink. Welcome back to Farthest Frontier. Uh, we um, had started a town. We had a farm over here. It, this is in constant heat stress, but we have a graveyard now. Um, that, has one, that has one dead person in it. And it nice. yeah, we have a forager. We have two hunting. Here we have this one. And we have a little bit of the art forager. Right here. Back to berries. Um, we put the market. This area. And so, yeah. And most of the houses are. Uh, pretty much there. So that they change it to 30, it used to be 25. Basic well. So they have everything they need. Except for desirability. And the town center. Which means eight shelter, track to 30 people. And you can mark it. So 30 people is where it's where the uh So to speak, we have four capacity of four currently. Let's go back to build the fishing hut, that's uh, good. I don't play this in the tower. Maybe we'll trade for it. That's also something to think about. Trading post, but maybe it's in here. There it is. Storehouse got that. Saw pit got that. Town center here too. So it looks like it's the it's the town center that we need to look into doing. Building and there is a structure near it. I'm not sure the will is right there, but.
cold. Not the way it's getting cold. Not completely. Yeah, early we're in the early, yeah, so we're in the early winter. See what the problem is. Or do I? Tech up, and that was part of the re part, part of the reason behind all that was one. Um, there were, we had, you know, we had there was that one uh, game I, I probably remember if you had been a long time subscriber, or if you go back and watch some of those. Um, there was one particular playthrough of this where we had wolves um, so consistently that I built a watchtower. Uh, that we took those like a little watchtower, and the watchtower routinely took down wolves. On uh, you know, just all the time. It didn't. It's you know, even during winter, it, it, it would provide a brief reprieve sometimes. But sometimes even that labor shortage. Okay. Really? Are we that low? Maybe because we have so many people tasked with building it currently. That might go away, you know, once all the building is done. Anyways, yeah, we had a watchtower that, uh... that 
basically had to stem the tide. Um, every single, you know, it was crazy. Um, I couldn't, I, I couldn't, you know, I, I remember being like, just sitting there going like, there's no way, you know, like, I, you know, like, there's so many wolves, you know? <laughs> um, eventually, I built soldiers in that game and we cleared out the wolves then, uh, permanently, so to speak, but, um, but I was just, I remember playing that just being, just being, I remember playing that just being mystified at, um, at just the, the sheer number of, um, wolves. That would be, uh, archery person's hard work. So we got four laborers. Oh, I know what happened. Fishermen. We had five laborers, and then we built a fishery. How is it? How is somebody easier to your fishing? Okay. Back to gathering yet? Contemplating still. But when you're done contemplating, hopefully sooner rather than later, maybe you go out and get some food for the rest, for everyone else to eat. Smokehouse would be something actually that would not, that would be not a miss. Um, is it food production? Yeah, smokehouse rising spirits and fish. Yeah, along these foods are some worse. Well, I can say what fire is needed to do. Should we have firewood coming out like come like crazy? Um, so I think we're gonna build the smokehouse. Built right here. Yeah, I'm probably an overbuilding hat when it comes to houses, but you know, titles were on board. I wasn't able to take yeah, too much advantage of it. Um, myself, I had enough things going on at the time. Um, so to speak, although I did pick up um, Age of Mythology Retool. That wasn't on sale, but that is something that um, is coming in. Um, as I am, a I am a big strategy guy. Um, my first uh, my first game that I ever played was a strategy game, Civilization II. Um, or, uh, correction, that was my first game ever, but it was my first kind of real game. Like, I'd played demos of strategy games since then, but, but you know, demos only show you so much, and sometimes they're a little bit, um, you know, well, I actually, it depends on the demo, actually, uh, you know, obviously. But sometimes demos, um, you know, they don't show you the true scope, and sometimes, um, I, I found that I played the demo, and I found, and this is just my personal experience, so take it for what you will. 
I've run into demos where I played the demo and I played the original, the real game, and the mission that I played in the demo, which is in the real game, is much harder or completely different, you know? Um, one of those would be, um, Command and Conquer Red Alert. Um, I, I played that game, I played the demo, and the demo had two missions. It had the second mission in the game, which is co the complete same. Build tons of soldiers and take out a Soviet outpost. The other mission that I had, which is like much later on, is where you have a spy, you infiltrate the war factory, you hit your right and you, you save an agent, then you build a base and take out the, and take out the uh, Soviets. Um, that's true. That is the mission that you do. However, um, you know, once you get the woman in the in the helicopter and and she flies away, taking out the base is not nearly as easy as it makes it sound to, as it makes it out to be. Um, it has the base, and I found that they have no air defenses whatsoever. Um, and you can build planes because you take over because you take over their buildings, so you can build their buildings. Um, and and so you can basically just terrorize them with planes as much as you want. Because um, they because they don't try and stop you. Um, now in the game. Now, in the game, um, the full game, um, I thought, I'm not just going to do the same thing. You know, like when that mission came up, I was like, oh, this mission is easy. Yeah, I was, I was wrong. They, they had, they had, they had missiles ready to go. Um, my planes got shot down, um, all the time. But, anyways, yeah, sorry. But my first, uh, I'm going to find a tangent here, but my first game, that full game that I got, was Civilization 2, which is a grand strategy, but still a strategy, and I, um, I played that game like crazy. I mean, even when Civilization 3 came out, I was still playing it, because it was one of their best, one of the best ones in the series, um, so to speak. In fact, I, I, um, I remember, I remember specifically at the time when I was playing that game, when I was at war with France, and I, I took over, um, uh, the city of Lyons, uh, France, um, and, and, uh, it, 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 and it, the shock was so great in taking over that big city that, that, that and then a new faction was created because the country split in two, so there were two Francis, briefly, um, in that, and then eventually what ended up happening is I took over, um, so there was Marseille, and there was Paris, and I took over, and those were the two factions. Lions was the in-between that I had just made a, a drive for because it was, because, uh, because of the way my soldiers, uh, moved in that, <clears throat> in the game with the, with the hexes, um, and then I, I eventually took over both Paris and Lions, and Lions, and eliminated them from the game, but, um, which was not difficult at that point, because I was more technically advanced than everybody on the, on the map, but, uh, yeah, that's the point, and then after that, it was, you know, a lot of the Age of Empires games, and things like, and things like that, along with Warcraft and Starcraft, and, in Warcraft 2 especially, so all those good things. Um, but yeah, so I picked up Asian Mythology Retold. I, I love Asian Mythology, I love the extended editions of the Retold version. I'm looking forward to it. I do have the HD versions of, of the Age of Empires games, or definitive editions as they're called now. But I mean, all great games. And, you know,
head over there and get that built. Okay, huh? 34 meat was lost to spoilage. Yeah, the smokehouse needs to be built. The problem is... Uh, the problem is we don't have enough workers. I mean, you know, there is something to be said about, well, you know, bite the bullet and, you know, suffer through it. The smokehouse built. And I agree with that, 100%. Um, you know, that, that, that should be done. Um, the only issue I have with that, though, is that... Um, we need workers. Now, there was something to be said about building that and then, you know, and then basically just, you know, and just, you know, not building anything and hoping that the labor is suffice. The problem is we have a lot of things completely to cut because we need different materials and I need labor to do that. Worms. Definitely something to be built, though. Sometimes I wish that they would deliver the, like, even if you weren't building it, that they deliver the resources. I mean, it's really said, but we'll just on pause until they get the resources there, you know, um, which I, I, which I hear, um, actually. Let's see if I can do that. See, the key is, the problem I have is if I, if they get all the resources there and I pause it again, it, can I stop them in time? Um, you know, <laughs> so to speak. Cabbage, right? Flax. Flax, that's what we're doing. Contemplating why do I have to do this job? <laughs> Right? Why?
for the 60 houses. I think we're good for now. You're boring. houses as well. That's too bad. <laughs> um, it reminds me a lot, um, yeah, that being there, that reminds me a lot of Tropico sometimes. Um, you build all these plantations and you're like, oh, I got mines. And then so you pull the mine to build a mine and you realize that you built all your plantations right over all the gold and the iron and the coal. Um, which is why next time when you play, or you restart the map and you build mines first. And then you plan your plantations around the mines. <laughs> so. On one tree, okay. Keep checking this forage. You're visiting a neighbor. Shouldn't you be foraging? You know what? I, I keep checking the forage. Like I said in the last game. Gosh. Um. Oh, this is gonna be helpful. Um. Yeah, we we had a forager that a uh, forager that didn't work, so. A little gunshot, you know, but at least, at least it doesn't say idle, unable to work. That's what the last forger in the last game I had, I had all the time, um, was unable to work because of, I, you know what, I never figured out why they didn't, they seemed to be allergic to work. No, no, don't build it. Stop building it. <laughs> Walk away. <laughs> We've done that before long.
I wonder something about it. If I could. second crop. I know I did. Oh, I think it was, um, I think it was, uh, buckwheat. Or not. Just that tiny bit, okay. That's fine, actually. Oh, yeah. Sorry, it's just like, well, actually. <laughs> actually, let's look at getting things. Let's at least get the materials in place. Enjoy nature. I need you to forage, buddy. It's 
gonna leave you alone there. Hopefully you'll you'll pick green so you can mess. Oh crap. Freaking commandos, walk away. Mm. I can't say you didn't do anything. It's right there. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I know we're short on laborers, but even when we get five, I would be, you know, I, I, I think even when we get five, even though we need more than four, I think we still would have to look into building like a smokehouse to handle the food situation. That's <laughs> it. That one more person. What are they doing here? Huh? Oh, they're doing the um, uh, rockiness is going up here. Yeah.
Oh, for the cry. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's see here. Um, let's go with like um, beans. good right now where it is actually Four there. Oh, I know it's not that way. Oh, well, you're at it. Maybe go over there. I mean, I am positive, They're like, yep, we were waiting. <laughs> a break from doing what? Even now that we have a now we have this problem. Uh, this guy he gets things. In the last year you boosted 130 berries. That's charge crazy. complete. So it's like that there's more than berries. Mm. There's greens and eggs in your range. But you don't. Oh that's not good. So firewood, well stocked. Yeah, I think we're... we're <laughs> Maybe, with people stuck inside because it's freezing cold, um, we'll have, you know, that will enable them to have babies, so... Or to get busy and have babies, and then eventually have babies.
See, we're at a point where there are just tons of the village uh, of the women in the village are pregnant and are going to because we don't have anybody immigrating, so maybe that we're um. next and then everybody will be the people I mean it seems like most people are very happy um, you know 26 are very happy three are happy um, but it would be nice to provide the other things kind of reward the fact that they're content with providing things such as shoes and clothes which you know one could say well those are basic things well yeah but at the same time you know look at you know, so we have a shortage of people who can work, so. With that, I dare say, dare say, without uh, paralyzing um, gathering, which needs to continue because, um, yeah, because logs are. Sure. through the winter here. Hopefully no one dies. Um, hopefully they get cured.
Well, I mean, now's the time to stay in bed and get better, Forager, because you don't have you don't have any work right now. Thing is, we we need all the relievers we can get. But if somebody dies from cholera, you know, then we, then yeah, we have to, then one of our laborers needs to take over, and that's why you keep a healthy uh, staffing of laborers, one to do the laborer jobs that are needed. But more importantly, Paramount is um, is in case you have you have some you know you have somebody one of your villagers die with their people disease or you know whatever. <laughs> yep. So now we have three laborers because the four because it's out of hope. It's Almost as if it was on cue. Mm -hmm. You're gonna meet, meet that person, right? I'm not complaining. It's not like I'm like, yeah, let's encounter wolves. Um, it's just, I keep hearing them, and so I'm afraid that they're going to show up or something. Okay, Suma, he did a pretty good job. Uh, well, actually, he contemplated and enjoyed nature a lot. So, um, you know, I, I hope you enjoy nature. Um, but uh, the contemplating and the uh, and the enjoying nature walks, um, we can do without that. If you're gonna go on nature walks, make sure you're picking things when you're on a nature walk. about the other buildings, but I think yeah, the cobbler can wait. This I just needed to have ready to go.
some of these trees up. I don't see anybody else there. Or trees, or nature, or birds, or animals, or something of some sort. The point is you're not doing your job. Eh? saying I yeah you know, I'm not sure where to pick you're just like I'm just gonna you know show up at work but not be in work. Fishing night for me that's what a smokehouse is so essential it comes you don't have people Yeah. I'm not surprised. doubling up just looks like it. Get things sped up here.
Pondering your existence? How about pondering your existence, you know, uh, uh, with, with food? time but we had some things hold us up so anyways guys um mid call here thank you so much for um watching farthest friends here I'm looking forward to the 1.0 release um as it seems like they've gotten most of the things in the game i think it's a it's probably thing is some balance tweaks and no doubt after the 1.0 release there'll probably be a few more tweaks as is common with most games i mean you know you do all the optimization you can't going out the door you think but Sometimes there are just things that happen that you didn't see coming or can't avoid, but that, that's besides the point. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like it, make sure to mark that down. But make sure to subscribe, I'd appreciate that immensely. And thank you to those of you who have subscribed, I appreciate it a lot. Anyways guys, um, this has been Father's Frontier, and I'm Rosalind. Until next time, the story's over.